for centuries, we have yearned to unlock the keys to the subconscious and fantasized about possessing the power to read people's minds. In 300 BC, on the island of Kos, Hippocrates taught dream interpretation at a healing temple. After cleansing rituals, patients entered a room filled with snakes to recite evening incantations before sleeping. In the morning, Hippocrates would then ask patients about their dreams and infer possible cures to their illness. In the 1920s, Salvador Dali and the surrealist artist considered dreams and imagination central to human thought and continuously searched for a state between waking and sleeping in order to access the subconscious for the purpose of art. Now, for the first time in human history, science and technology have caught up with the imagination, introducing tools to decode people's thoughts, perceptions, and individuality. The way we're able to do this is to take MRI technology, traditionally used to scan the brain for abnormalities, to map which specific areas of the brain are active. We can then compare this brain imaging to a massive database of brain activity to infer what a person is thinking. As a striking example, researchers at Yale recently did a study where they had people look at images of faces. Here are the faces people were viewing, and here is what a computer algorithm was able to reconstruct from fMRI brain signals. As another example, neuroscientists in Canada used brain imaging to see if a patient who had been totally unresponsive for 16 years would react to suspenseful moments in an Alfred Hitchcock film in the same way that healthy subjects would. The patient's brain patterns matched up with the healthy individuals and proved that he had been capable of conscious thought the entire time he was unresponsive to outside stimuli. There are all kinds of revolutionary applications of this in the health arena that we'll start to see in the next few years, including preventative care, whether that's related to learning disabilities or dementia. We're still in the early phases of this research, but cognitive neuroscientists are rapidly developing the ability to reveal the contents of your mind. From work by UC Berkeley scientists, the video on the right is an attempt to decode what the person is viewing on the left, based on brain imaging signals alone. As a database for brain activity grows and algorithms improve, this imagery will get sharper and sharper. This methodology also points to a novel approach for reconstructing offline visual experiences, including dreams, memories, and imagination. As we move one step closer to being able to decode our dreams, what will artists and storytellers do with this unprecedented access to the subconscious? This ability to interpret brain signals is as revolutionary as a telescope was for opening up the heavens and the microscope was for revealing the tiny world of microbes. We are at the beginning of a scientific revolution, and it's so exciting to be a small part of it.